Welcome back to Max's Muscle TV. Now it's time for our nutrition segment. And as we mentioned earlier, folks, this week the boys are looking at a nutritional plan that's ideal for anyone looking to get cut up and super lean. Over to you, Freddie. Thanks, Tony. Well, I'm here with Peter Wright again. Welcome, Pete. Thanks, Fred. And uh, today we've got something that's probably not my favourite dish, but uh, something you know quite a lot about. Well, through trial and error I do, and it's a cutting up diet. Now, cutting up isn't for everyone. And so sorry, Fred, is that like cutting up lots of fruit and vegetables and all that sort nah, of stuff? You, nah, you're huh? not. It's cutting up a lot of fat, body fat, unwanted oh, okay. fat. So you've got to prepare yourself. That's the number one thing. You've got to prepare and your goal's got to be a deep burning desire to do it. So what we're going to do today, folks, is we're going to go in a real high protein diet. We're going to go for really good clean carbs and essential fatty acids with your fats and your oils. Pete, the idea is to have small amounts of food on a regular basis, so we'll go for around seven meals a day. What have we got here on the plates? Well, breakfast. Now, Pete, you might have cereal for breakfast, but we're not going that way, because as I said, we're going really Spartan. We're really trying to drop the body fat levels down, strip the fat, and reveal the muscle. So here we've got nice quality source of protein being chicken breast, which is obviously a staple part of any bodybuilding so food. Boiled chicken breast. And we've got sweet potato as well. Now yeah, sweet I'm potato, <laughs> sweet potato is a great carbohydrate food and it's got a low glycemic index of around 55 as well. Now if you want to add your oils here, you, you're welcome to add oils. Here we've got um, flaxseed oil. Now this flaxseed oil is not a cooking oil. So you wouldn't cook with this, but what you would do is you just drizzle a little bit on it and it's a great source of fats and as I said, it's an essential fatty acid. So Fred, how much can I eat? Can I eat like four chicken breasts, good three question, chicken breasts? Good question, Pete. Look, it's going to depend on how much weight you want to lose because the really important part of this is you don't want to lose muscle as well. So if you're 20 kilos overweight, obviously you're going to have to drop your quantities. That's the reality. Eat until you're full and satisfied, cook it in advance and have it ready from the night before because again, it's all about preparation here as well, Pete. After that, Pete, mid-morning, I'd have a super shred fat burning protein. It's got carb blockers and it's got all these other ingredients to help you strip fat as well. So it's called super shred for a reason. Certainly, it? certainly is, Pete. Really good and convenient. I'd either have the shake and take or the bar. Now the bar just touches those edges really nicely and keeps you going up until lunchtime. So Fred, I see we've got two meals here for lunch, a slight variation on breakfast. Now you've got grilled chicken and you've got different green vegetables, Is it so it's just chicken and vegetables. Now, great thing is with these vegetables is obviously that they're green and I would choose green vegetables as opposed to coloured vegetables. So I can have pak choy, zucchinis, any of those fibrous green vegetables? Yeah, and as long as it's green, you're pretty safe as well. And just steam those up, same as the chicken and the That's potatoes. right, yeah. So what, I can have two meals for lunch? No, Peter, well, it's an either-or situation. So if you're at home, obviously you have it on a plate. If you're out and about, you'd have it in a microwave-safe container. Fantastic. So by the afternoon, which is about two or three o'clock when the hunger really sets in, what I would do is go for a nice, good, clean carb. And here we've got rolled oats, Peter. Now, what I've done is I've actually pre-soaked the oats because what happens with rolled oats, Peter, is that some people find it hard to digest. And when you pre-soak them, it just helps break down the enzymes and allows you to digest them. And adding a flavour like the Max's Super Shred is a great way to just add that flavour. Now, I'd mix it up and then I'd add my flaxseed oil. And by this time, it'd be about three o'clock, I'm ready for my workout at about five o'clock that night. But later on in the evening at about nine o'clock, what we're gonna do is go for a, another protein hit. And in this case, we're gonna go for the Super Shred as well. That's your cutting up diet, Pete. But we spoke to a few athletes and chatted to them about their cutting up process. So when I'm cutting up, my diet is very, very simple. My diet when I'm in contest is basically I'm having six, seven meals of protein. When I'm trying to cut up, I think the key for me is uh, carbohydrate control. Reduce my carbohydrates 
slightly. Definitely eating lower carbs for me. The thing I find most successful for myself is cutting out simple carbohydrates. So white rice, white pasta, white bread, everything white basically, they should be slow release or low GI, low glycemic index carbohydrates. What's called low glycemic index carbs. First thing in the morning will be a cup of uh, oats. A bowl of oats in the morning. Half a, a cup of oats works for me in the morning. So in the morning I'm, I'm having about 90 grams of dry oats. I would have some oats in the morning. The oats, I usually have it with uh, water. Made up as porridge, make it help just keep me fuller. Really getting the, the high level of carbohydrates in for breakfast. I'll have two eggs prior to cardio. I'll have carbs in the morning still before I train. I train uh, after I drop the children to school, so I'm in around nine o'clock training. So my breakfast would be somewhere around eight o'clock, allow about an hour for it to start metabolising. The main things you want to be focusing on are obviously getting an adequate amount of protein in there. Meals, I'm having uh, basically fish. Fish, fish and asparagus. A bit of fish in there. Fish and lettuce or fish and salads. Egg whites. Egg whites. Egg whites. Eggs. You know, full eggs. Max and Super Street, I use that all the way up to the comp. I eat a lot of tuna. Tuna, red meat or steak. A lot of kangaroo. Kangaroo. Occasionally some, some lean red meat. I use mainly chicken. 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 Chicken breast. And I also I also eat a lot of chicken breast. Not very much dairy though. Definitely no milk. There's no milk in the diet whatsoever when I'm cutting up. To add a few more fats, I was having two serves of nuts a day. And then throwing in uh, on top of every other meal is just, you know, lot, plenty of vegetables. A lot of vegetables. I really enjoy vegetables and a lot of them. Vegetables like asparagus or some tomato or some spinach. Capsicum. Usually a handful of beans. Green beans, broccoli, asparagus. Broccoli. Broccoli and just, just the basic greens. Onions make everything taste good. Very natural, organic, whole food type stuff. And that will really give you that feeling of fullness when you're not getting the carbohydrate, um, but still uh, develop that leanness and, and allow your body to cut up. It's very, very simple, but it's something that really works for my body. Well, there was a few different views there, Pete, but the take-home message is, again, high protein and good quality carbs. So we talked about dinner before, Pete, and the obvious thing here is we've chosen chicken breast because that's got the lowest amount of fat and the highest amount of protein. Well, Pete, thanks for joining us. Unfortunately, you didn't use your chef skills here today. Yeah, not too much heat in the kitchen today, Freddie, but I know it's all about cutting up. It is, and this has worked well for me, so I'm sure back home it'll work well for you as well. Until next time, we'll see you again.